Hey guys, in the near almost two years that I have been doing this channel, truth is, this is probably the biggest video I have done up to this point so far. And the reason for this is because not only are there 13 teams getting new uniforms for the 2017-18 NHL season, but these guys, Reebok, are no longer making the jersey starting next season. Starting in the 2017-18 season, a company that owns them, Adidas, the company that owns them, Adidas, has taken over the NHL's jersey contract, which means starting next season, Adidas will be making the jerseys instead of Reebok. Bye-bye, Reebok. But anyways... Here are 13 teams that are here are the, the 13 teams that are getting new uniforms next season. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the 2017-18 NHL jersey changes and what we know so far as of June 16th, 2017. So first thing is first, I want to mention this. Um, Adidas has been starting to post sneak peek photos of the new uniforms for all 31 of the NHL's teams. And remember, folks, starting next season, the NHL will be a league of 31 teams because the Las Vegas Golden Knights are an expansion team coming in next season. So before I get going, there's some stuff I want to mention here. First off, there are no alternate uniforms for the next season, which means only home and away jerseys. And to my one subscriber, Sean Parapelkin, I know you're frustrated but the reason why they've got no alternates for next season is because Adidas wants to get their product line established first. Now, another thing, there will still be outdoor jerseys, and since they are unfortunately not going to the Olympics, they will have all-star jerseys as well. Um, new fabrics and new logo fabrics. I will talk about this real quick. So, we noticed it at the World Cup of Hockey, but they've now got perforated shoulder yokes that have got little round holes in them which is meant to make the jerseys more breathable and lighter weight now also the logos now a lot of them like the minnesota wilds new green jersey their logo has jersey mesh on it instead of the traditional reebok fabric which is meant to make the logos lighter weight and more flexible during regular player movement now, the fabrics are based off of the Adi Zero Adidas Tech Fit templates and fabrics, which is meant to make their jerseys lighter weight, which connects to the World Cup of Hockey. Now, recent jersey trends have pointed towards jerseys that are either half-finished or very arm-heavy in their designs with no waist striping, and also a recent trend of shoulder numbers, which could happen with some of these new uniforms. Now, also, another thing I want to mention real quick here is about replica jerseys. They will no longer be made by the company making the jerseys for the NHL. Because starting next year, Fanatics is making replicas and only Adidas is making the Authentics. Or, sorry, Adidas is only making the Authentics. Now, as someone who loves jerseys, this really pisses me off because I've heard from multiple people that from multiple people that the quality of the Fanatics replicas are garbage. And for me personally, I think that when I go out and buy a jersey, I should be getting the same brand that the players wear, not some other company. No, thank you. Now, new templates uh, recently with Toronto and Florida's new uniforms for this past season. They went with the new rectangular shoulder yoke Adidas template as, I think, a trial run. And also the rumor of two alternates starting in the 2018-19 season. I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. I'm not going to really talk too much about it in this video, but I will say that I have heard that the NHL may start to allow teams to have two alternates instead of just one and a throwback to wear two or three times a year at the most. So that'll be interesting, but that's not going to happen until the 2018-19 season. So I will talk about it at a later date. Now, one more thing before I get to this list. Um... Let's take a quick look at this. This is a recently leaked uh, Adidas practice jersey, which showcases the new perforated shoulder yoke template, which you can't see it in this photo, 
But as you can see, there's the new Adidas collar style, which I don't like, but also the NHL shields on the collars will have a bit of a chrome effect to them now, which I guess is okay. I, I liked it the way it was, where it was just flat, but I guess it's just the, something we're going to have to get used to. But good news though, folks, I showed this for a reason. The three stripes are only currently staying on the practice jerseys, and hopefully it will always stay like that. Keeping my fingers crossed. Now, this is a recently leaked Adidas draft hat for the Golden Knights. I will talk about that later. Um, I will also talk about this later. So also, this is the wild sneak peek at their new uniform. As you can see, the new jersey fabric in the crest. Very interesting. Um... <clears throat> Another thing I wanted to mention as well, I am, I am not a fan of this new collar style and I'm really hoping that they will stick with, for the most part, the uh, average Reebok Edge era collar. It's nicer looking and I don't like these weird colors, the weird coloration of the collars here. And then in this case here, half one color, half another. Don't like that look at all. It's something that's been a huge pet peeve of mine for years in the NFL now. And also this two-tone shoulder yoke. Hopefully stuff like the, these Czech Republic uniforms don't happen in the, the NHL. But something to make note of though. Notice the arm heavy design where it looks half finished. No waist driving, but very heavy on the arms. And of course the rectangular shoulder yoke. Now same with Canada's World Cup jersey. Um, supposedly, according to Aesthetics, they were looking at perforated numbers as well that were just heat pressed. But he said that supposedly they're getting, they're doing some tweaking to that as well. And I'm hoping that they're going to still stitch them to the uniforms because I think that if people are going to now be spending $400 for an authentic jersey so that they can get an actual Adidas jersey instead of a Fanatics one. They better be getting some decent quality jerseys for that type of money. And the, sh and the numbers and letters on the back better not just be glued and heat pressed. They should be stitched on as far as I'm concerned. Which the, the letters are, but as for the numbers, hopefully they will continue to be as well. And hopefully they don't get rid of felt crests and felt numbers like, for example, Philadelphia's 2012 Winter Classic jersey. Or Boston's most recent Winter Classic jersey. I, I love the felt effect on logos and stuff, so hopefully Adidas won't get rid of it, and I'd be shocked if they did. So, anyways, let's start talking about the teams that are getting new uniforms. Now, lately Adidas has been starting to post uh, pictures on their website, or on social media, on the team's Twitter accounts, of actual photo teaser photos of the uniforms. So for me, Boston was a huge shocker. I, I'm not, I can't see Boston making drastic changes because their uniforms are some of the best in the NHL. And I think they did such a great job with their uniforms when they brought them out back in 2007. To coincide with the league-wide jersey change to these guys who are now done. Reebok. So anyways, I got some news. The Boston Bruins teaser photo, I'm going to show it to you. And it's something that myself and I think a lot of sites like sportslogos.net said as well. So here's the good news. The design is staying the same. It looks like they're only going to just get rid of the black outlines on the letters and hopefully the numbers as well. I like this simple letter and number treatment like they had on their recently retired third jersey. Not the winter classic one they wore against Montreal in the 2016 Winter Classic, but their third jersey from the 08-09 season that they wore for a long time. So to see them clean up their letters and numbers, if that's the only change they're making, I think it's an upgrade, to be very honest with you guys. They're going to take two great uniforms and make them even a little bit better. I'm all for it. So, and I've also seen the teaser photo that the Bruins are not changing their logo in any way. I think that's terrific. But also, another thing that I need to mention, uh, just so you guys know, none of the NHL teams are getting new logos like they did when Reebok first took over the NHL's jersey contract with teams such as, for example, the San Jose Sharks, 
<clears throat> the Boston Bruins, and of course the Ottawa Senators. Teams such as those, for example. No teams are changing logos. So I just thought I'd get that out. So anyways, the next team on my list is the Buffalo Sabres. They do need to clean up their uniforms a little bit. Now the bad news is they're still with navy blue. They're sticking with the navy for now. But the good news is I know for a fact that they're going to clean up their uniforms. The gray piping on their waist and arm striping is going to stay. But the good news is I believe that the piping, the vertical piping and the gray armpits as well as the front numbers are now finally coming off their uniforms. And I think that is terrific. Now, I also think that the Sabres are probably going to switch to the World Cup of Hockey Adidas collar style instead of a lace-up, which I think sucks. But I think I would not be surprised to see that happen. So they're going with the new template with the squared off shoulder yokes with the perforated holes on the top of the shoulder fabric to make the jersey more breathable. But Instead of the vertical piping and the gray armpits and the front numbers, those are going to be gone, but I believe the striping on both uniforms are still going to remain the same for now. However, for the 2018 Winter Classic, Buffalo, I believe, will bring back their royal blue, original royal blue jersey, since they're staying with navy blue now. And hopefully it ends up being so damn popular that it that the Sabres decide to go back to their original jerseys full-time again. I think that would be absolutely terrific, and hopefully it happens. So now, the next team on my list is these guys, the Calgary Flames. Now, personally, myself, including a lot of other people, including Chris Creamer of SportsLogos.net, were really hoping that the Flames were finally going retro after they made their third jersey, their retro jersey for the second time in the past 10 years last this past season. They decided to retire their Western-themed third jersey with the word mark and brought this retro jersey back as a full-time third. It's a beautiful jersey, and I'm really disappointed that the Flames are not going back to it. And also another thing for folks like my subscriber, Devin Taylor, you're going to be really happy to know that the Flames are going to continue to have a black C on the front of their red jersey. So... So, um, here's the thing. Calgary's sticking with the Black Sea, but I have a bit of news. Um, I want to show you guys this uh, little teaser photo that they recently they brought out the other day. And it looks like this. So, the flames are no longer going with italic letters on the back. They've cleaned it up. And hopefully... By the looks of it, I'm thinking they're going to go a little bit more towards the retro route this time around. And by that, I mean I think they're going to go with more traditional striping. And I think they're finally going to get rid of that hideous vertical piping and side panels, as well as that hideous eyesore of an Alberta provincial flag, which looked like a jersey advertisement from a distance, which was ugly as sin. And hopefully they take the Canadian flag off the other shoulder. And what I'm kind of thinking is going to happen is the Flames are going to take their shoulder logo off their recently retired <clears throat> cowboy-themed third jersey and make that their new shoulder patch on their home and away jerseys. Or they're going to go with a new shoulder patch or completely bare like their 1989 Stanley Cup winning retro jersey, which... If I had my way, the Flames would be going back to this immediately. It's a beautiful look in my opinion, and I know not everyone agrees. That's totally fine. But to me, this is a classic. C for classic. See what I mean? No pun intended. Um, beautiful sweater. I wish the Flames would have gone full-time with this again, but sadly they aren't. But anyways, the next team to talk about is their fellow Alberta rivals, the Edmonton Oilers. Now, first off, I think the Oilers' orange jersey they've worn this season and this and the past season are beautiful. It's a beautiful look, but I am really disappointed that the Oilers are making it their full-time look. I think it sucks because the Oilers have always been blue, 
They've always been blue since the day they entered the NHL. And now they're going to wear orange because they're finally relevant again. These orange jerseys are very popular and so that they can make more money because of Connor McDavid. And they're going to use this huge return to relevancy now that they've made the playoffs for the first time in a decade. And congratulations to you folks in Edmonton. I was really happy to see that, by the way. But now they're going to cash in on it by coming out with new jerseys. And no, this is not the home jersey next year. The home jersey is based off of this, but instead of royal blue, as you can see here, they've gone with navy blue. So they're going to still be orange, but they're going to be orange and navy. And personally, I think it sucks. <laughs> Do I think the jerseys are going to look good? I, I think they should look okay. <clears throat> I think they should look all right. But my issue with the Oilers is that I think they should stick with the Gretzky era look that they finally went back to in 2011. I think it's such a shame that they're going to change it now just because they want to sell more jerseys and switch to orange full time to cash in on this whole return to relevancy in Edmonton again. I think it sucks. But, you know, I love this jersey. I just don't think it should be their primary look. Their royal blue jerseys that they went back to finally a few, like, six years ago... That was their best look. They had a Stanley Cup dynasty in those uniforms. And Wayne Gretzky, the greatest NHL player of all time, wore them. Like, they're absolute classics, and now they're changing to this. I, I think it sucks. But anyways, I do have something I want to show you guys that has to do with the Oilers. Sorry about that. I just needed a quick drink. Um, let's see. So here's the teaser photo, navy blue instead of royal, but also note that the letters on the back are now white with navy trim. I think that's going to look good, and I, I have a feeling that these jerseys are still going to look half decent, but at the same time though, it's nowhere near as good as the royal blue jerseys in my opinion. Those were such classics, so much history behind them. Gretzky's 50 goal and 39 game record in those jerseys, five Stanley Cups. The great one himself had his the prime of his career in those jerseys. Oh, I think it's such a shame that they're switching to this, but I have a feeling it's going to look good. So orange and navy, as for the numbers on the back, are they going to be navy or are they going to be white? I think they're probably going to be white. That should be okay, but we're going to have to wait and see. But anyways, back to my Oilers jersey. I've got a few interesting questions to, that I'm curious about. Will the numbers still be on the shoulders? I'm hoping they move down to the arms. Next question. Do they decide to take their waist striping off in an effort to be more modern? I hope that the Oilers did not decide to do that. But with them going navy blue, maybe they want to make a drastic change to say, hey guys, our uniforms are significantly different now. Go out and buy yet another orange jersey. Very possible. Because the recent trend in, trend in recent seasons has been towards half-finished looks without waist striping. So I could see the Oilers do it and drop the waist striping. I think that would suck. Or they're going to make the striping stay the same on the orange jersey but make the away jersey striping match this. That would be okay. But my third question is this. Do the Oilers continue to have a round shoulder yoke, or do they go with a squared off shoulder yoke to conform to Adidas new Adi Zero rectangular tech fit template? That is a very good question. I would not be surprised if the Oilers have squared off shoulder yokes. Personally, if they had this in navy blue with squared shoulder yokes, numbers on the arms where they should be, and full traditional striping, their jerseys will look great. They'll look good, but they won't look great, in my opinion, like the royal blue ones. I mean, I think for orange, they'll look very nice, but they're not going to be as good as the royal blue jerseys that they're retiring now, which I think is a shame that they've done it. But another thing that I've always liked about the Oilers in blue is that besides a couple ridiculous seasons in the early 2000s, when Calgary only had black or white jerseys, these guys, it's always been blue versus red. Blue versus red. Now it's orange and red. 
That's one thing that I loved about the Battle of Alberta, was that the Oilers were blue and Calgary was red. And now Calgary's red, but Edmonton's now going orange. And I think it sucks. And guys, I know I've talked about it enough. I've even made a recent video about it, about the Oilers switching to orange full time, but I agree with my subscriber that we just heat 96. I think it is a huge mistake. And I think it sucks. I, I really do. And I mean that. But anyways, the next team on my list, and the one team that uh, I honestly thought was, when I saw them on this list, <clears throat> this list from sportslogos.net, um, this team made me the happiest. This was the one piece of news I was the happiest about. And it has to do with the Colorado Avalanche. My I have subscribers all the way from Nick Signor to the Weedus Heat 96 to Sean Parapelkin, or all kinds of subscribers that I talk to all the time. They all tell me the same thing. Colorado's home and away jerseys suck. And you know what? I'm going to go a step further. They are the worst in the entire NHL. That's how bad I think Colorado's jerseys have been. And how they've stuck around for as long as they have, I have no friggin' idea. They're that bad. And instead of getting new jerseys a couple seasons ago, they just put on a new shoulder patch and brought in that Rockies-inspired third jersey. Oh, and that's another thing. I'm so glad that they're not switching to that modernized Rockies logo. I thought it sucked. Now, another thing about their third jersey. The burgundy from a distance is so hard to see. Another thing, too, their shoulder yokes are so big, and for, and all they did for creativity on their shoulder yoke is stick a Colorado State flag on it. Like, where the hell's the creativity, for Christ's sake? So anyways, another thing about Colorado. I have never liked their original jerseys. I've never liked their color scheme. However... This teaser photo of their new uniforms, their new home jersey, is giving me some real hope that it's going to be good. Because it's got a silver stripe here and a blue shoulder yoke, and it looks like it's a little bit angled, and I'm kind of thinking they're going to have a mix between their original jerseys and their third jersey. And I think what we're going to ha have with Colorado is a shoulder yoke that is inspired by their original jerseys, and a little bit by their new, recently retired navy blue third jersey. And I think they're going to have striping on the arms similar to uh, USA to the United States World Cup white or white World Cup jersey that they wore this past September. And I would not be surprised if they have no waist striping. But I'll, I'll take it over the garbage they've been wearing since 2007. I mean, those jerseys were horrid. Worst in the NHL for years. Just terrible. Them and Calgary, I'm so happy they're getting new uniforms. But with Colorado, if they if they go with the mountain mountain inspired, mountain shaped shoulder yoke of some kind that isn't like their original jersey, but slightly inspired by it, I think they could finally make me impressed with their burgundy uniforms. And burgundy, in my opinion, is a very hard color to make a great jersey out of. And as I said recently, I was hoping they would go towards the uh, Latvian national team style look. And don't think they're going to do something quite like that, but this by this teaser photo, I think they've taken a big step in the right direction. And I just hope these new uniforms are really good. Because if there's a team that desperately needs new uniforms, I've been saying it forever. It's the Colorado Avalanche. So fingers crossed. And truth is... I am highly confident these are going to be a significant improvement over what they've been wearing, or unfortunately have been wearing, since 2007. And I cannot wait to see this. That is one jersey change that I'm probably the most excited about. That was the one piece of news that made me the happiest. To be completely honest with all of you watching. So now, the next team on my list is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Logos staying the same, their uniforms for the most part are staying the same from what I know. All that's going to change is a slight change to their letter font for sure and maybe their number font as well. 
And I also hear that they're probably going to have some type of waist striping now, which I think is terrific. Now for their home jersey, I was hoping that the striping from the cuffs of the arms up to the shoulders would have been black, like their first ever third jersey. But unfortunately, they have not done that. However, um, I'm thinking they're, I've heard that they're going to add some waist striping and that they're going to make some tweaks to their letter and number fonts. And of course, the new Adidas style collar, which I'm not a fan of, but from what it sounds like, I have a feeling Columbus might slightly upgrade their look. I think it's due for a bit of a, an update because their uniforms were kind of boring. Their away jersey was good. I, I, I like the simplicity of it, but I think they should definitely have some type of waist striping, at least in my opinion. Now, the next team on my list is the Dallas Stars. I was shocked when I heard this because ever since Dallas has brought out their new uniforms, they've been very well received and a lot of people really like them. And although I absolutely hate their logo with a passion, and although I wish the shade of green that they went with was Kelly green instead of this more bluish shade, Victory Green, I gotta say, I think it is so nice to see the stars in a light shade of green. They are the only team in the entire NHL that wears a lighter shade of green. And they are such a gargantuan improvement over those collegiate jerseys that said Dallas on the front with the front numbers. it's I can't even put it into words how much of an improvement their new uniforms are. So with that in mind, I can't see them changing much. The letters on the back are going to be single white letters with no outlines, which is fine. But I could see them finally adding black trim to their numbers. And if they did that, I think that would actually be a huge improvement, personally. But another thing as well that I think we could see for sure is a new shoulder patch. Their unbeveled, simple version of their logo inside a roundel, I thought, has always been a terrible secondary logo on the shoulders. And I'm hoping for either something new or a return to the state of Texas shoulders shoulder patch logo. I thought that was cool. So something like that, or even a new shoulder patch logo, or even bare shoulders, I would be totally okay with that. And I have a feeling the stars are going to make some improvements. Now as for their away jersey, besides the logo and the shoulder patches, I love the jersey itself. The striping, the shoulder yoke, very, very pretty jersey. Although I hate their logo with a passion, their away jersey is one of the nicest in the NHL. It is such a nice, bright green look. The white jersey with the black and green striping, wow. It's a thing of beauty. So, I'm hoping that they what all they do is either new shoulder patches, black trim around the numbers, and maybe changing the striping of their green jersey to match their away jersey. That's about all I can see happening for jersey changes. And this list came from sportslogos.net, and when I saw that Dallas was getting new uniforms, I was honestly shocked. So, I can't see them doing much. Maybe they might get rid of their lace-ups for, for the new Adidas template. That's possible. And with their new shoulder yoke style, it's a bit different from what... the <clears throat> from what the stars have had since they brought out these current uniforms. So maybe there's a slight tweak to their shoulder yokes. Maybe that's all it is. But besides that, I can't see the stars making anything drastic in terms of changes. Now, the biggest change on this list, or the biggest shocker in my opinion, was the Florida Panthers. Now the reason for that is because the Panthers just got new uniforms for this season. So what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Uh, are they going to extend the chest stripe all the way around? I think it's too soon to make a jersey change that drastic. <clears throat> I, I just can't see it happening. Could they add navy blue trim to their numbers? That would make sense. Could they have decided to get rid of their state flag inspired mock tie down collar for the new Adidas style? That could be it too. 
but I'm hoping that all it is is a change from arm logos to shoulder logos where they put the numbers back on the arms where they should be and stick the secondary logos on the shoulders, which I think that would be quite an upgrade for the Panthers if they did so. So if they did that, a new Adidas collar and some navy blue trim around the numbers, I think that's about all we're going to get. And if there's one change they should make, in my opinion, it should be, since they're not going to change the jersey style, it's too soon. I would be absolutely shocked if they did, were allowed to even alter the style of the jersey. So if anything, I have a feeling that the Panthers are either just going to add navy blue trim to their numbers or a new Adidas collar. Or hopefully someone who works for the Panthers like their owner has been watching my videos and has come to a realization that, you know what, the Rockzilla 94 is absolutely right. We should put our numbers back on the arms and stick our secondary logos on the shoulders because that is a much better look in my personal opinion. But with Florida, they just got new uniforms. I don't understand what they mean by changes. So since their change is so recent, in fact, this past season was their first year with these uniforms. I can't see these guys changing much of anything whatsoever. If anything, it's probably the new Adidas collar and maybe some navy blue trim to the numbers. That's about it. And hopefully the numbers go on the arms and the shoulder or the arm patches go back on the shoulders where they should be as far as I'm concerned. So also another thing I want to mention too um, is this. Uh, with Adidas, I'm concerned about this new collar style. I'm not a fan of it. I much preferred the Reebok Edge style collars. I'm also hoping that the lace-up collars remain. With Montreal, I think it will. And with Toronto just getting new uniforms as well, and that we know they're not changing, that means the lace-up collar is staying. At least I hope so. Because do they have an effect to the NHL jerseys? Do they tighten them up or anything? No, they don't. They're just a fashion for the sake, um, they're not there for the purpose of the jersey. It's more just for a design feature. And although that's the case, I think it's still great. And I hope they keep it for many decades to come, for the rest of time. Because to me, lace-ups are classic and they look great on the right jersey. I would not want every team... See, I would not want every single team, like say the Calgary Flames, to have a lace-up collar or the Pittsburgh Penguins. But for teams like Montreal and the Toronto Maple Leafs, I think it is an absolutely terrific feature. And for some teams, it's great. It's nice to have a mix of some teams with lace-ups and some teams without. But these new collar styles, I hate them with a passion. And with Adidas coming in, I'm really concerned that we're going to get a lot of these half-finished looks that are look half-finished, don't have any waist striping, heavy on the arms, shoulder numbers, two-toned Shoulder yokes like this check jersey, these very bare and boring jerseys that only have design on the arms, and these half and half toilet seat collars. I hope that type of stuff doesn't become widespread in the NHL. And I know this jersey was designed with the purpose of having a real European look, but jerseys like this make me very concerned about Adidas. I mean, look at this thing. It's a bloody eyesore for Christ's sake. Who thought this was a good idea? Jeez. I bet, I bet most of you subscribers watching this, most of you viewers watching this, could make a better jersey in 10 minutes with a pen and paper, for Christ's sake. Um, but anyways, so we've gone to Florida, and actually, I'm going to go right back to my computer. So the next team on the list, it, on my list, or actually not my list, sportslogos.net's list of the teams getting new uniforms, um, Minnesota is getting a new green home jersey. Yes! I was so happy when I heard this. This made my day. I'm not even kidding. This is such great news. Minnesota has three completely different styles. One person said that is unique. They do have a point. But for Christ's sake, have matching logos. And Minnesota's jerseys are just not good enough to keep them the way they've been. And it's about time they're making a change. Their away jersey is awesome. So seeing them get a new home jersey is terrific. And it's got their logo on the front. Instead of that stupid script. Woohoo! Very happy. I feel like going out and buying a bottle of champagne and having a toast. That's how happy I am. But anyways, my point is this. Um, Minnesota's got a chest stripe on the front. Very interesting. 
Um, let's see my Minnesota Wild teaser photo that I found. Here you go. So nothing on the shoulders, no shoulder yoke, beige stripe on the front, beige letters on the back, and probably beige numbers. Totally perfect in my opinion. I, I like that the Wild have tried to own green, dark green and vintage white. I like it. But I have a very bad feeling that it's going to be a lot like Florida's new home and away jerseys. Where the chest stripe only goes around the front and does not go all the way around. Like, for Christ's sake, please put an end to this half-finished chest stripe jersey trend. It's horrible. Come on, Minnesota. Make it happen. Make that chest stripe go all the way around. But... You know what, guys? i got to be honest. I have a weird feeling their new green jersey is going to be a lot like Florida's new jerseys. And I think that sucks. And hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully it's a very nice, simple, traditional look. <laughs> with a solid vintage white colored chest stripe all the way around. With maybe green numbers on the back. Kind of like the blue, on, like the blue numbers on Toronto's blue Centennial Classic jersey. Something like that would be amazing. And I think if Minnesota did that, boy, that would be a drastic upgrade in my personal opinion. But now the next team on my list is the Nashville Predators. But first, I need a quick sip of water. <sighs> Much better. So with Nashville, I know this. Uh, their jerseys are pretty much staying the same, but the only thing is that they are getting rid of that vertical piping and the, that blue-shaped moon on the back, moon-shaped blue bl block on the back of their uniform, right above the name plates on the back of the jerseys, which I think is terrific. And from what it sounds like and what the teaser photo has shown so far... In fact, I will show that to you guys real quick here. Um, where where the hell was it? Um, okay, just bear with me for one moment here. Uh, I just want to show you guys these teasers to give you as much detail as possible. Um, but anyways, where's that Predators one? There we go. So as you can see, it looks like Nashville has really cleaned it up. That blue block here with the nameplate below is gone. I hear the vertical piping's going, and it looks like they're well on their way to probably really improving their uniforms, which I think is terrific and about damn time. So I was thinking Nashville was going to go with a navy blue shoulder yoke, but they never did, which I think is fine because I love how bright their gold home jerseys are. It really lets them stand out from the rest of the NHL, in my opinion. And and as uh, my one subscriber, Nick Signor, and I talked about when with my recent uh, NHL jersey changes that I would like to see video series when I talked about Nashville, I still think that Nashville should bring back... Um, <clears throat> sorry, guys, I'm getting a little bit of a cough here from talking for so long. But with Nashville... Uh, I loved their navy blue third jersey from about 2010, and I was hoping they would have made a gold version of that and brought the white prototype jersey that they had at the time because they were going to switch to the navy blue full time instead of their current uniforms that they went to the Stanley Cup final with against Pittsburgh just this past week, in fact, as of this video. But anyways, um, with Nashville, I was hoping they would go with the navy blue full time, that jersey, with a matching gold away, and then brought the white prototype back as an alternate, and then for the playoffs, wear the gold away jersey at home and the white alternate on the road. But unfortunately, they haven't done that, and their logo, of course, is staying the same, because no teams are getting new logos for next season. So Colorado is not switching to the Rockies-inspired third jersey logo for next season. They're sticking with their longtime logo, which I think is far better. But anyways, with Nashville, it seems like they're just going to take their vertical piping off, maybe make some striping changes, and really clean up their uniforms, which I think is terrific. So I can't wait to see what they've come up with. And hopefully, um, hopefully they clean up their uh, number fonts as well. I wish they would just go with solid block. I think Sean Parapelkin, if you're watching this, I think you mentioned that to me as well. Um... Because I thought that was a really good point. 
I mean, the guitar strings through the numbers is cool. I just don't like the style that they went with. But anyways, I'll talk about that more in another video. So, um, maybe down the road or something. But anyways, um, to the New Jersey Devils. Um, I hear that they're going to, they were planning on drastic changes, but thankfully scaled back due to fan frustrations and fan backlash, supposedly, which I think is awesome. New Jersey, in my opinion, should have left their bloody uniforms alone. They were some of the best in the entire league. Simple, classic look that they've won three Stanley Cups in. Drastic improvement over the red and green, in my opinion. I used to be pro red and green over the red and black, but... I've had such a change of heart. I love the simplicity of their soon-to-be-retired jerseys, which, once again, I'm so pissed off that they're going. But what I do know for now is that they are going with red collars with the new Adidas style, which I think sucks. I like the Reebok Edge inserts much better. In fact, show you what I mean. Like, with Adidas, it's going to be a badge sitting out with the logo more out here, where... It has been since 2007 as the insert behind here, which I wish they would keep it, but they're not. So the Devils have got red collars, but I hear the change could be as miners just taking their waist striping off, which I think is absolutely terrible, but at the same time, it could have been a whole lot worse. And another thing too, I hear they might be adding a new secondary logo, and they might be altering their striping on the arms as well, and taking the waist striping off, which... I made a video about it before, so I'm not going to really go too far into it now, but I am really pissed off with the Devils for doing this because I think their jerseys were some of the best in the entire league, and I mean that when I say it. Now anyways, to finish up the video, uh, to start to finish up the video, let's talk about Ottawa real quick. Um, I've heard that they were planning on switching to this full time, they never did. And I have also heard recently that Eugene Melnick, their owner, was saying that he wanted to establish an iconic look for the Senators in time for the 2018-19 season. So if that is the case, then why the hell are they making jersey changes for next season? Unless maybe they're just changing to the new Adidas style template with the new Adidas collar. That could very well be the case. That could be the case. Now, originally, I was thinking maybe they'll just switch to having this jersey as their home jersey next year for Canada's 150th and the NHL centennial season. But clearly, according to the teaser, Ottawa is just sticking with red, which I guess is fine. I prefer the Roman Centurion logo that they first had when they entered the league in the 90s. But, you know, if they go the heritage route, I would be OK with that, too. But for Ottawa, I'm thinking what's going to happen is they're just going to put their current jerseys on the new Adidas template with the new Adidas style collar. And then they're going to get full, uh, do a full redesign in the 2018-19 season. But also another thing for the NHL 100 Classic, it's currently, I've seen a promo photo with the Senators wearing their vintage white version of this that they wore in the 2014 Heritage Classic. Um, could that be the jersey they wear in that game? Very possible. I could. It's possible they could wear that, and Montreal could just wear a red version of their awesome Winter Classic jersey. I would not be surprised if they did that. It would be a very nice-looking matchup for jerseys, and they're both heritage, very retro, and it would look great for the 100th anniversary of the NHL. Now, on a final note with the Las Vegas Golden Knights, actually, they're just called Vegas Golden Knights. Wish they were just called Las Vegas, but anyway. Um... First off, their jerseys will be dark gray. That is a fact. But something I thought was extremely cool was that the Golden Knights have got this embroidery effect on their logo and a metallic gold for the crest as well, which I think this is going to look amazing. So also, um, this is their draft hat, and supposedly the draft hats are based off the striping of the uniform. So... Here's what I'm kind of thinking. I've made a little bit of a concept as to what I think the uniform might look like. And I think it might look something like this. But I can already tell you that my concept is already wrong in two places. Number one, the letters are just got, they're just white. And the back of the collar is black. So I'm already wrong. And just so you know, guys, this is just a concept I quickly put together. Just as a lucky guess. If 
this is not a leak. I don't know what the Golden Knights jerseys look like. So please don't say, hey, these are leaks. These are just jerseys that I've made as my guess as to what the Golden Knights are probably going to look like. So either this, something maybe with this too. This looks pretty cool, actually. And I thought maybe a white jersey with a black shoulder yoke and shoulder numbers since that seems to be the trend. And supposedly Bill Foley said something about wanting to make the road jersey a little bit drastic from the home jersey. So that's why I kind of said maybe maybe the secondary logo goes on the arms. Possibly. But anyways, guys, these are just guesses on my part. These are just quick concepts I put together. But I had a lot of fun doing these because I'm actually really excited to see what the Golden Knights have come up with. Although I hate their logo, I think there is the potential to do half-decent uniform with it, though. So hopefully, with the Golden Knights being Adidas' first pet project, official pet project in the National Hockey League, hopefully they will do a good job with their uniforms. And I'm actually curious to see how a dark gray jersey looks. So hopefully they do a good job on them. But anyways, you guys, after 46 minutes of talking, that is going to be it for this video. Covering what we know so far for NHL jersey changes for the upcoming 2017-18 NHL season when Adidas takes over the jersey contract from these guys right here, Reebok, which they just ha so happen to own. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm really... I am really sorry about the length, but I just wanted to make sure I covered everything and talked about as much as I could. All right, so with that, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Once again, my apologies for the length. And of course, you guys, as always, until my next video, take care. And of course, as always, you guys, bye for now. And thank you for watching.